identify very liberal. I am also a socialist. I live in San Francisco. Um, I am also the founder and executive director of Pro-Life San Francisco. We're seeing increasingly there's more young people who are holding more progressive values but are also very pro-life because we can see that's inconsistent to say we support equality of all human beings, we support human rights for all except for the pre-born human beings. You're an atheist, vegan, yep. LGBTQ plus ally, yep. and pro-life. That's right. Explain this to me. Sure. I did not read that last part. Yeah. yeah. That threw me off. Yeah, I, that's why I have this 22-week-old fetal model. I am a registered Democrat. I identify very liberal. I am also a socialist. I live in San Francisco. Um, I am also the founder and executive director of Pro-Life San Francisco. We are a millennial-led grassroots activist organi organization operating in arguably the most pro-choice culture in America. Uh, possibly in the world um, and one of the reasons that we're here today is I'm joining with Democrats for Life and we're calling on them to take a position on abortion that represents the majority even the vast majority of Millennials and Democrats want to see abortion more restricted especially at this particular age I'm so, I'm sorry. so sorry excuse I'm gonna, me I don't want people to run into yeah, you no, I'm so sorry but the vast majority of them want to see abortion restricted, especially at this age. This is a 22-week fetus, so in most states in America, you can have an elective abortion for any reason you want up until 24 weeks. And this is the exact age that's actually targeted for organ harvesting um, by uh, fetal tissue companies that are looking to profit off of the sale of these body parts. So I'm very concerned. Obviously, this is a viewpoint that's very silenced on the left. I think it's very dangerous on the left because they hold all their power through the abortion lobby, which only panders to the left cut you off because I want to totally. ask you this question. When I when I talk about being pro-life, 100% of the time people say, well, it's because you're trying to shove your opinions of religion down my throat. Right. What do you say to that? What does it mean to be such, you know, polar opposites <laughs> within the community, I guess? Totally. And I can see why people think that it's contradictory. But for me, it's just a consistent application of the values that we've already established as a culture, as a society, from across the political and religious spectrum. It doesn't matter if you're secular or you're Hindu. Most people agree that killing people um, is wrong in most circumstances. And I'm just attempting to... Uh, be consistent in that application. Yes, of course, there are circumstances when, you know, it's just to protect yourself or, you know, there's there are, of course, nuanced conversations about killing a born person. But the point is that it has to be consistent if we're all equal. And I do believe in human equality. Okay. I love it. I love it. It's <laughs> great. So it's perfect. Thank you. You said you were a pro-life Democrat, and I asked you, I said, usually when Democrats say I'm pro-life, they just mean they cut it off at the third trimester. Yeah. But you said, no, I'm pro-life all the way. What's it like being a pro-life Democrat? Yeah, it's definitely hard, um, but we're seeing increasingly there's more young people who are holding more progressive values but are also very pro-life because we can see that's inconsistent to say we support equality of all human beings, we support human rights for all, except for the pre-born human beings. It's the consistent response to say we're against abortion for all cases through all the pregnancy. So a lot of people say something a lot that I've seen in the news lately and what people say is what if the child had a mental disability or a physical abnormality, they shouldn't be able to live or the mother shouldn't have to take care of them. How does that make your heart feel? Oh, it's absolutely heartbreaking. Um, when somebody presents that to us, like for me, I've been doing this full time a couple years um, and I go to college campuses nationwide talking to students about this. Whenever somebody comes up and says, you know, it should be okay if, you know, there's a severe abnormality, yeah, it's heartbreaking because you would never, ever, ever consider ending somebody's life, you know, who was born, who had, you know, whatever abnormality. Yes, it's hard. Yes, it's unfair. Um, it can be unfair, but we don't have that right to take away somebody else's life because of who they are. That's ableism, you know? And again, with the Democratic Party carrying the banner of equality, um, there's no reason why we should be supporting that. So I have to ask, why do you still stay with the Democratic Party, even though they're progressively getting crazier with their pro-choice views? What, what keeps you in the Democratic Party? Well, I'm, I lean more independent for that reason, because for me, the main issue is abortion. Um, I think that there's, you know, both sides are working to make great progress on various issues. But at the end of the day, for me, you know, I want to see human rights advanced. I want to see 
you know, what, whatever side is their goal is to advance human rights, equal dignity, um, and respect for all, like, I think that we need to be pushing for that. So with the Democratic Party, they do a good job with that in most cases. Um, so that's the appeal I see there, is that they are actually, you know, working towards, you know, supporting the disenfranchised um, and helping make those ends meet. Um, they just have to tweak one little thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's just, I want to see them be consistent in that view. So until then, I am, um, I am an independent until I see that change be made. We are running a huge sale at CaitlinBennett.org. A lot of things are 50 to 70 percent off on the site. Not only does it help me and fund what I do to come over here and be able to film these crazy interactions that are still going on, you could probably still hear in the background, but it also helps you. Everything that we sell helps you. It's not something that you're never going to use again. It's something that's going to help your life, help you live a better life, a healthier life, and you need it. So, if you brush your teeth, get toothpaste from CaitlinBennett.org instead of Walmart, who doesn't support what you guys support. They just banned open carry. You don't want to buy it from there. Buy it from CaitlinBennett.org. Support me and get the best toothpaste ever. Cheap gas. Who likes cheap gas?